All right. Hey there, fellow bikeaholics. This isn't going to be the happiest video I've ever made, but it's a super important video, I believe, and I think you will too. So it's basically in response to a video John Maxwell put out. If you don't know who John uh, Maxwell is, I will pop a card to the video I'm going to be talking about. Fellow YouTuber, motorcycle enthusiast, he happens to be a Harley mechanic. Uh, but I will tell you as a creator, I'm sure he would too. We don't get a lot of time to watch other YouTube videos because we're too busy creating. Um, so I was very uh, blessed that somebody forwarded his video to me. And it was the last thing I was doing last night and I caught it and I watched his video and I will tell you, it really pulled at my heart. And so as I went to sleep last night, um, it was my mission somehow today to do whatever small part I can do um, here on this channel and, uh, you know, leverage this awesome community and audience um, to help a fellow biker, which happens to be uh, John's friend and uh, a coworker who uh, got in a, what sounds like a pretty serious motorcycle accident. So I'm gonna dive in a little bit, give you the information I know. I'm gonna keep it fairly short. Uh, you can always go again, watch John's video. I'll put it on the screen and, and put that link in the description below. Um, and hopefully I don't screw anything up. And I just want to mention that John didn't reach out to me. He doesn't even actually know I'm doing this video. It's something I wanted to do. Uh, we've never actually met in person. We've corresponded here and there, um, you know, online over the years, but uh, that's about as much as I know him. So his friend, uh, Clay is his name, uh, was recently involved in a serious motorcycle collision. And this is what he put out uh, in his video. A little background on Clay, that's all I know, um, is his first name. Uh, he served in our military, uh, the way I understand it, for six years. And you know how much I and everybody here behind the scenes at Law Abiding Biker Media supports our military and those who have served. So um, obviously, uh, that struck a chord with me, number one. And uh, recently, he's been working with uh, John at the dealership um, as, a, as a Hardy mechanic um, in, in that uh, capacity. And apparently, he left for lunch, I think it was on February 29th, and uh, somebody was pulling out of a parking lot. Um, I believe he rides at Road Glide, and uh, he got struck. And that's about as much of the collision details that I know. Um, it, it, it sounds fairly serious. Uh, he's been uh, in an induced coma. He, uh, uh, he has a wife um, and two kids. He's been through two surgeries. It sounds like he's the breadwinner, uh, my understanding, for the family. Uh, so, you know, it's a very serious situation. And John had reached out, um, you know, trying to get people to share the video and for the biker community to really come together. And I always preach that, like it's super important. And uh, just doing this YouTube channel and the podcast over the past seven years, it's one of the best parts um, about doing it is just still to this day, how tight knit the biker community is and bikers helping bikers. And in this day and age with social media and YouTube, you know, I figured there's no better way um, to share John's message to get out the word uh, to help Clay um, and his family. And there is a way you can help him. They have, I believe, is um, somebody set up a GoFundMe for his wife, and it looks like it's doing really good. They had a goal, and as of the time I'm shooting this video, they're super close uh, to reaching that goal. And my, uh, I would suspect that they'll exceed uh, the goal they're asking for. Um, and, you know, uh, you know, like John mentioned, a lot of that, um, you know, uh, reaching that financial goal because he is the breadwinner, um, you know, hopefully he's going to recover. I'm sure it's going to be lengthy, but it'll let him focus on his recovery, you know, getting back to work so he can, you know, support his wife and kids. Um, so, you know, if it's something that you're interested um, in helping, I will link to that GoFundMe uh, in the description below. And uh, Lab, Law Abiding Biker Media here, of course, um, I'm going to pony up and we'll be donating some money um, to send towards Clay uh, and his family and to hopefully help, uh, you know, with that recovery. 
the hashtag they're using, um, which I'll use on this video. If you're going to do any social media, if you're going to share this video and all that kind of stuff is hashtag clay strong is what they're using. So make sure you hashtag that whatever you're doing, wherever you're promoting it uh, online. And let's see if we can throw some love, not only to John, because I know um, this was a friend of his and, and we've all, you know, a lot of us have had friends that gone down it's, and, it, you know, it's always sad to see. We love this sport. Um, we love it so much that we're willing to do it, um, um, even knowing the risks um, and that things happen like this. Uh, and it just always brings it to reality. Um, but again, the best thing the biker community can just, uh, you know, step up to the plate. Uh, we can unite and uh, we can really make a difference um, for some of these bikers that uh, uh, have a lot of injuries. Uh, so there you go. All right. So I know that I rambled a bit on this video, but I just wanted to get the information out there and do what I can to help. Uh, I'm a god fearing man, so of course I say send your prayers, your thoughts, and all that kind of stuff, uh, Clay's way, uh, John's way. Make sure you leave those comments um, and prayers in the description below. Uh, and if we hashtag it Clay Strong, I know that you know when he wakes and he starts his recovery, uh, he'll be able to see all those comments and uh, that can go a long way to helping towards his recovery. Share the video as much as you can, pass it around, and especially John's video. And again, I'll link to it. Um, share his video around too. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do as a collective biker community, help Clay. All right, guys. Thanks for your uh, consideration. Thanks for watching. And uh, everybody ride safe out there, all right? Peace.